Michael Bluth arrived at work to find his brother adjusting to his new job as president. What do you got there? Don't be afraid to make a... I'm not going to beat myself up over that. Oh, it works. So I wrote your message from the president on the shareholder statement. Starla's making copies. Did I tell you that she'd make a great secretary? Yeah, I'm not so sure that hiring her wasn't a mistake. And I'm not afraid to make mistakes. Or have you forgotten this little... Damn it! My legs are so cold. Uh, so I thought you might want to read it, seeing as how you are the president now, even though it's just a title. Well, right, yes. Well, we should circumvent union penalties. Circumvent. 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 Means to go around. The old reach around. Yeah, trust me, this makes you look like a leader, okay? I don't think that I need any help with that. Okay, just leave it where it is. Now, uh, if you just flip... Here are the copies. <laughs> oh, hey, these are... These are very small. When you said you wanted photocopies, I thought that you meant you wanted them on a photo printer. Tell you what, from now on, we're gonna use just the big printer. Okay, you're a perfectionist. Flashes of Quincy. Darla <laughs> claimed to have had a relationship with music legend Quincy Jones. Mr. President, I'm gonna go look into some Legoland tickets for the weekend. Cool, let's do it. Actually, I, I just meant me and my son. Isn't he a little old for that? No. Sorry, I've been looking to get some alone time with him, and it just hasn't seemed to work out lately. No problem. Just call up some of my friends. <laughs> what? What friends? I've got friends, Michael. I just don't talk to them because I work all the time. I think the plan lady's wearing a thong. <laughs> 